And now we'll answer a question from a viewer. Betty from Louisville asks, what is the best cast on method for knitting socks? To help answer that question, we've invited sock knitting queen, Nancy Bush. Welcome to the show, Nancy. Thank you very much. I'm glad to be here. So, what is your favorite cast on method? My favorite cast on method is a double start cast on that I learned in Estonia. I like it because it's very stretchy, it's very decorative, and it's Estonian. <laughs> So. And not necessarily in that order? Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> so this true. is an example of how we get some stretch and yes. give that what you'll be showing us today. Yes. yes. Okay. Excellent. So this cast on is made up of two parts. The first part is a traditional continental long tail cast on. So I'm going to make a slip knot, put it on my double point needle, Put my okay. thumb and index finger between the two threads. Got it. Twist my wrist up so I have a V here. Come in front of the thumb stitch, over the top of the index finger stitch, and back through the loop on my thumb. Okay. And that is a continental long tail cast on. Then the second part of the double start cast on, you twist the thread around your thumb, come straight down behind your thumb, pick up the thread over the top and back through the loop. So that's B. That's part B. Right. Now, that's the typical technique, but the way to make it more decorative is um, to make your long tail a double loop. So I'm just going to spread my yarn out and make a double loop okay. back. I'm going to make my slip knot about five or six inches away from the end of my yarn and put it on my right hand needle and I like to use two needles when I cast on because then I even get more stretch. So now I've got the doubled loop around my thumb and the single yarn connected to the ball around my index finger. And I can count the stitches made up of the slip knot as two stitches, my first and second stitch. So I would knit into each of those stitches when once you I come get around. when I have my base. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to do part A, which is a continental long tail okay. cast on. Put thumb and index finger between the two threads. Okay. Twist your wrist up. Come in front, over the top, and back through the loop. A. And that's part A. Now, other way around your thumb. Come straight down and up, behind the index finger stitch and back through the loop, and that's part B. You have to be careful that that loop doesn't catch on your needles. You're not splitting the two, yep. Right. Okay, so one so more time. C, A, and B. Scoop over the top, back through the loop. Other way around your thumb, come straight down and up, over the top, back through the loop and tighten up. You don't want to tighten too tight, you want to do it just right. As always. Yes. <laughs> and now I have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches. So you have to cast on an even number because it's little pairs of stitches. Uh, as you work. Mm -hmm. And then you would cast on enough, join them up in the round, and then be able to make a, a wide variety of bases, mm -hmm. as we can see here. Mm -hmm. For socks table. or mittens, or you could cast on this way for anything. It's just a little more decorative and a little more stretchy. Mm -hmm. And the Estonians always do a round of knit and a round of purl right after this cast on. And then they can go on. And then and that's do the whatever. base for moving on to the rest mm -hmm. of their work. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Let's take a look at the wide variety of ways that you can use this cast on to create many different looks in the socks starting with um, a lace Estonian pattern that we build on the cast on, some simple color work that we have, um, also a beautiful combination of uh, cables and lace mm -hmm. here on mm -hmm. the green, some base, and then you can even build a, a lace off of the, um, mm -hmm. what's happening here is below with the cast on, creates a nice edge, uh, more color work, and um, the pattern in the blue, is it Estonian? They're Estonian traveling stitches. stitches. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous, that beautiful stitch definition. And then some very classic color work at the end where you can build up for the ribbing. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing the variety and you know that it's extremely functional yes. having that. Because yeah. it's so stretchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
That's fabulous. Well, thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you. Yeah, it was a good really, really good way. I'm sure our viewers will be tickled to know about it. Knitting daily. Make time for yarn every day. The projects and patterns from today's show, plus more ideas and projects, can be found on the web at knittingdailytv.com. This is show 212. Continue knitting daily every day by joining the online Knitting Daily community and receive a free newsletter five times a week filled with step-by-step -step techniques, inspiring reader-contributed stories, and free patterns. It's about knitting all the time. KnittingDaily.com